we compared a popular plant-based meat alternative to grass-fed beef. Both of them are sort of, you know, touted as quote-unquote healthier versions of beef. And what was particularly interesting is that when you looked at the Nutrition Facts panels, which just gives us information about protein, fat, a handful of vitamins and minerals, they looked somewhat identical. The reason was is because the plant-based meat alternative used soy protein isolates, so it was able to bring the protein ratio up to, to beef, but also used uh, vitamins and minerals fortification that were fortified with the product. So we're kind of able to match the Nutrition Facts panel of, of beef. But we were still interested, especially when we, you know, we were deep in metabolomics, which looks at hundreds or thousands of nutrients. We were like, well, wait a minute. This is a plant versus an animal. There's probably going to be some compositional differences that go beyond the Nutrition Facts panel. And that is indeed what we found. That, that was not that surprising, but the magnitude of, of differences was a little bit surprising to me, to be honest. What we found was is that sort of the abundance of metabolites, many nutrients, these are things that do not appear on Nutrition Facts panels, but it could be things like taurine, carnosine, and serine, which are amino acid peptides occurring in meat. But then on the other hand, in the soy-based meat alternative, we found isoflavones, certain phenols that we didn't find in the beef. But the short end of it is, is that they were 90% difference in metabolite abundance, and about a third of all nutrients that we tested were not found in either the beef or the plant-based meat alternative. So this led us to the conclusion that these are not one-to-one -one nutritionally interchangeable.